words that I say and the words that you hear be in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The dawn of Lent and the season of winter sometimes brings with it a perfect storm of depression while trying to battle seasonal affective disorder with the pending reality that Lent is upon us, I find myself often in these days a bit down. I was on the phone yesterday with Christy and I told her the truth is I'm just not ready for Lent yet. I'm not ready for Lent. And really I have no excuse this is about as late as Lent can get on the calendar year. And I wonder if that's what's made it so hard. I wonder if I got through February and thought maybe this year Lent wasn't coming. <laughs> We'd skip it all and just get right to Easter. But sure enough, here we are. Lent finds me this year in the middle of counting my blessings through a long winter finds me just finding my rhythm in the new year. It finds me with my fingertips white clinging on to the last alleluias. But whether we like it or not, the season descends upon us and comes with us as the grit of the priest's thumb scratches your head fresh with the ash. Remember, you are but dust. As the ash hits the forehead, so falls off all pretense. Ash Wednesday is the most honest day of the church year, where we find ourselves often here on Sundays in our Sunday bests, our children looking far neater than they should after the morning they've given us, us looking far nicer than the weeks we've had. We come to Sundays prepared. But the darkness of the evening of Ash Wednesday is slightly different. It begs to us to bring with us an honesty, an openness, a vulnerability not often found on a Sunday morning. We get dirty. We find ourselves on our knees. Sins at the front of our mind. Our temporary nature is at the front of our mind. Our dependency on the God who calls us here on the fronts of our minds. This night, this season that we approach is a time when we're stripped of everything. All ego, all pride, all selfishness, all greed, all arrogance. Everything that we've built up upon in the last year. It's kind of a cycle. This summer in our garden, our squash plants found with them a fungus. And the only way to get rid of the fungus that built up in these leaves were to cut off the plants and open them up and actually scrape out the fungus. Clean them out and then replant them in the ground. This is Lent. Lent is that season where we spend in retrospection, introspection, penitence and prayer, taking ourselves off the plant just for a short few weeks and scrape off what's been built up in the last year. And in it, we get a little dirty. Remember, you are but dust. You are human we so often walk through life unaware, unaware of the creation around us, unaware of the grace we've been given, unaware of the miracles we see every day. In nights like tonight, we're called to repent. Repent for the things we take for granted. But more so than to repent, tonight we are called to pause. Because if you're anything like me, I'm not going to start this process unless stopped in my tracks. 
I'm not going to take the weed, the plant, out of the garden and scrape out the fungus until I really need to. And tonight, of all nights, this honest night, we're called to stop and pause, find ourselves on our knees. Remember that you are but dust. Remember that you are human. Remember that we are gods. As we wear the ashes, we are stripped of everything false we have left. We are find ourselves vulnerable and open to the risen Lord. As we walk through Lent, we must always be aware of the ending. Lent itself is a prologue, a second act, a prequel for the Easter feast that's on the horizon. We search ourselves. We find truth. We prepare ourselves because we know that in a short 47 days, we will find ourselves again bathed in the light of the resurrection. And this is when we find that Lent is actually really just a metaphor for life. We are reminded tonight that we are constantly called, we are continually asked to ready ourselves so that when we find ourselves again face to face with the Almighty, we are ready. So as I stand here, as we stand, as we kneel, not yet ready for another Lent, it's in truth because we are not yet ready to experience resurrection. But this night, this honest night, where we find ourselves in darkness, we are reminded that we are not perfect, but we do not need to be. We are human. We are but dust. We find ourselves with the same sign put on our foreheads that we find at baptism. We find ourselves at once reminded of our humanity and at the same time reminded that we are God's own. Tonight, let us start our journey together as failed and as humid as ever. Let ourselves start this journey to ready ourselves, to prepare ourselves for the resurrection not yet revealed. Amen.